Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Viaran and today I want to talk about the unbind tokens. We've had some information about which items we can unbind and which items we can't unbind and um, I just want to talk about the items that we can unbind in this video. Um, so I said when the Reapers challenge dropped the game was heading in the right direction. I still think that but these unbind tokens to me anyway they make no sense whatsoever. So I'm recording this on the 28th, you're probably going to see this late, but as soon as I saw the items that we can unbind, then this is what I decided to do, I just decided to start recording. And so the items we can unbind at the moment, these are all subject uh, to change by the way, are the Coalescent Ward, Line Art Weapons, Celestial Weapons and the Artifacts. And this is what I need to talk about, the items that we can't unbind are the Enchantments, uh, the rings that drop from Voss or Tower of the Mad Mage or Zariel or whatever. Uh, companions and mounts. Uh, hunt items. Uh, necks, belts and food. So we can't unbind any of them. So I want to talk about what we can unbind. And specifically I want to talk about the weapons. Lionheart weapons and the celestial weapons drop from Tower of the Mad Mage and Zario's Challenge, which are probably the two hardest trials in the game. Now my issue is, you can unbind them. I mean, this, this game is called Dungeons and Dragons, right? Why, why aren't Cryptic, like, encouraging you to run the dungeons? So, you had people that wanted Tom training or they wanted Zario training and they needed the weapons so in order to get the weapons you're going to have to go in you're going to have to you know make sure your DPS and make sure your characters are ready and then you're going to have to learn the mechanics that your encouragement to learn these dungeons was actually the weapons I believe the weapons are still best in slot for solo play uh, I believe the mastercraft are best in slot if everyone's using them in your group but the Lion Art specifically are best in slot for solo at least. So why can we unbind them and also sell them? You are taking away the need for people to learn things within the game. There are people who still can't do Ravenloft. There are people who still can't do Lair of the Mad Mage. Uh, people leave them random cues because they don't know them. And which is fine and all, but they've got no incentive to learn them either. The incentive for Tom and Zario was the weapons. That was the incentive to learn. You know, you can pretty much get the best weapons. Uh, people class the Mirage as the best weapons, but I don't even think they should be there. I think that's a big mistake on Cryptic's half. But why can we sell Lionheart weapons but? after we've unbound them. You should be encouraging people to learn these dungeons and encouraging them that there is more content at endgame, that there is rewards at endgame, but all you're doing now is you're taking things away from the endgame experience. And all these dungeons that people originally wanted to learn, now they don't have to learn. Now they can use their AD and they can just buy the weapons outright. I don't think, uh, from a business standpoint, I don't think people are going to put money in to buy these line art weapons. I could be wrong, but I can't see the line art weapons being that expensive, to be honest. I mean, what? I expect <laughs> about half a million AD, because I do think the Mastercraft are harder to get. I think the market for the line art weapons is just going to be absolutely flooded. I see a lot of people trying to farm Tom in order to get these line art weapons and then they'll be farming to try to get the unbind tokens which I'm guessing drop from Tom as well so they can kill two birds with one stone and then they can just sell them on and the market should just go and get entirely flooded uh, they're not going to be ex as expensive as people think that's what I think anyway um, I could be wrong I could be very wrong actually and I'll be the first to admit when I'm wrong but in terms of this decision like I think enchant I, I, sh I think you should be able to unbind anything you want 
I've got double companions, I've got double mounts that I don't need, they've just dropped from Juma. Why can't I unbind them and sell them on? Or give them to someone who needs them? I don't get it. The, obviously, it's all subject to change, but I think the unbind tokens in the current state, really bad idea, um, especially for the end game content and the people who actually want to learn now do not have to learn and i don't know for dungeon running it it just seems like it's not becoming as important as it used to be and i i absolutely love dungeon running and i was thinking about doing some videos just literally running through dungeons but let me know what you guys think down in the comments uh, I don't think it's a good idea, the current state of the Unbind tokens, as I'm recording this video anyway. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. I'm really interested to know what your opinions are. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.